it's gonna it's october right so what does that mean sober october that's what it means it's sober october month so this month or this year like most years there's always something in between so either i've got a, pl- a trip planned or a holiday uh, there's always something happens so i never even start i think the only time i've started sober october on the 1st of october has been 2017 i think for the most part every, every year there's always something that pops up so unfortunately i've missed nine days of sober october so i'm having to start today so i'm starting today and i'm probably going to end it i don't know november 9th right just going to end it when i start whatever so the, the 9th of november i'll end it so that's going to be on a saturday so that should be a good time to get wasted and whatever malarkey but I want to kind of reset myself as well. Um, I think in that regard, I think this year has been a bit of a tough one in general. Loads of movement in terms of jobs, loads of movement in terms of friends, loads of movement in terms of career trajectory, in terms of side businesses. Loads of stuff is happening in terms of family stuff. Just loads of pandemonium. And I think in general, Sober October or just times or just in general, uh, an occasion for you to kind of reset and to not do the things that you normally do is always a good is always a good thing to do right to to kind of specify one time in the year or one day or one month or one week that you kind of try to do things the right way right you try and live a more honorable life you try to do things um when you say you're gonna do them you try to follow through with things you try to put your best foot forward in order to set some good habits or set some good patterns in play right because we know habits are usually something that's built up over a short over like a prolonged period of time you do stuff um enough times with enough repetition that hopefully along the way you'll have to build up as a habit it'll become you know attached to you it'll become intrinsic because of something you just do without thinking and it can carry on to and it can carry on and maybe have influence in all the other things that you do so this month i'm aiming to obviously not do any alcohol not take no drugs i mean even weed nothing nothing's gonna be happening on that on that end um i'm aiming to eat keto or completely clean for the entirety of the month i'm aiming to do intermittent fasting from uh, which is 16 8 so i'm going to be eating within an eight hour window and fasting for 16 hours a day for seven days a week i'm seeing how that's going to go and i should be pretty fine with that i'm going to be aiming to read a book um I'm, so i'm aiming to read two hours a day um, i'm aiming also to do one hour of language learning which is specifically going to be spanish because of the misses and stuff and those are the main kind of things that i'm kind of covering there's gonna be some other stuff on top of it that I might include into it but those are the main areas i'm covering my fitness obviously i'm going to be running and training uh five days and five to five to six days a week and um yeah so it's running training i want to write this down as well actually because i want because i think writing down i don't know about you guys but i remember when i used to write down my little goals and my list and stuff and tick them off they used to be, i used to kind of get a long way to kind of achieving them as opposed to just having them in your mind i think writing them down is really important so like i said i'm gonna be sticking to no booze no drugs um i'm gonna be making sure that i'm eating clean i'm gonna be making sure that i'm fasting 16 to 8 using the app zero so if you can check that out um zero is available now on the app store it's completely free super easy app to use i should have my phone somewhere around here to show you guys but it's a really cool app that i'm using now currently actually to fast so you can see since when i've been fasting but it's a really easy app to use it's all like that you just kind of tap it and you tap the screen when you're starting to fast you tap it when you're about to end it and pretty intuitive to use i'm doing a 16 8 fast as you can see there the intermittent fasting just down on top as you can see um so yeah we're gonna do that running training all that stuff and then hopefully by the end of the month i'm in a far better mental and physical space there might be an opportunity for me to include some meditation in there um to do that once a day as well i haven't done it this morning so that might be a bit of a dud but let's see if i can do that going forward it's a bit difficult to do so very new habit for me but i think 10 minutes a day trying too fast will be a good way to kind of get myself back into where i want to go to like centered wise right in terms of mind body and soul so that's the kind of hope that i'm going through but yeah so october is starting and i'm really I'm, honestly I'm, I'm super pumped for it man i think i think this has come at right a really crucial time for me to do so october i think a lot has happened over the last few months that i kind of want to rectify and get back to uh you know get back on a good page i think i kind of lost my way a little bit the last few months or last few weeks specifically and i need to kind of get myself realigned where i am before because again you know you always have this delusion of grandeur or i've always had a, a, a sense of um you know yeah you know delusion about where i am and who i am and where i'm going but i think sometimes life can really smack you in the face and let you know no no no. here's where you actually are and these are always a good opportunity to kind of reset and get yourself back to where you need to get to again it's not for everybody i wouldn't recommend doing this sort of stuff to everyone because some people can't necessarily let go of their vices or they can't necessarily um dedicate some time to some sort of sense of purity cleansing whatever it may be but i need to do it man i really need to do it. i think this this is the really the time for me to do and hopefully going forward 
uh, end the year really strong as well. It's a good opportunity as well to end the year quite strong and to carry on some good habits into the new year because, you know, we all know uh, news, news resolutions are a bunch of crock shit, especially if you're not starting to do some of the work in the beginning. Um, and some of the reason why I thought it would be a good idea was this really insightful video that I saw on Def Jam's Twitter that popped up of our guy Kanye West when he used to, you know, when he when he was more uh, agreeable, um, speaking the good truth in this kind of message about, you know, what you can do when you put your mind to it, kind of, you know, that kind of achieving all things mentality. So I'm going to play this quickly and then move on to the next subject. This kind of, kind of, this kind of basically infuses why I'm at, where I am at with my sober October thoughts in general. So let's see if we can get this to play. Here's Kanye talking to Charlie Rose. Now, any limit to your ambition? No. Or any limit to what you think you can achieve? No. Well, no. Because I think right now, if I was to quit rapping and I say I want to go to the NBA, I would be in the NBA. No, you wouldn't. Yes. No, you would Yes, I would No, you would Yes, I would Why would you think you could make it to the NBA? Because I think I could do anything. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever played basketball? Yes, I did. Were I was you pretty okay? good. Were you yeah. pretty good? Yeah. And the thing, I, I wasn't natural at all, but I ended up being on a team and, and winning championships and um, being the point guard. You know, and it just came from, like, my, my talent is the ability to learn. If I could play the tracks that I had when I was, you know, in seventh grade and compare that to a Jesus Walks, All Falls Down, Stand up, overnight celebrity. Hold on, I'm not finished. I'm gonna name everything. At <laughs> uh, <laughs> slow jams. But if I could play you that right now and show you that track, and now I'll go and shoot a jump shot right now and miss it. Yeah. It's the same thing as how my tracks were right back. They, you know, anything in life that you put your mind to, you can do. The world, the world is your oyster. That's all I tell people, and I really have a grasp of that. Being that I, I nearly died. It's, it's, it's this, and it's heaven. Why are you on earth? Especially if you're not incarcerated. If you, if you, you got to take advantage of this. And, and that, that, doesn't, that doesn't mean for everybody to be a rapper, for everybody to be a producer. Do what you do to the fullest. And I agree with him, man. That's, you can't really say anything more than that, really. Isn't it? And I've always had that kind of way of thinking. I think that's maybe, it's a blessing and a curse because you can sometimes, you know, there is an aspect of, my personality or people that have that same sort of like drive or that have that same sort of kind of level of conviction where you necessarily don't necessarily pick a lane you're just a bit scattergun you're a bit, a bit of a generalist you don't really have a speciality an expertise of some sort but i think nowadays in the general in the area that we're living in now being an expert in one thing isn't necessarily the best thing for you right you want to necessarily you want to have you want to have your fingers in different pies you want to have your skill set as diversified as possible you want to have a broad set of interest you want to have a different you want to have a broad way of applying the skills that you've learned into different areas right if you're a businessman there's no point just doing business in the sneaker world you want to do it in i don't know party party promotion you want to be able to launch a clothing brand you want to be able to do it in different areas so that you can show that oh look my business acumen is able to be applied in all these different arenas right um same with music right you won't necessarily want to be a producer just making hip-hop you want to be making a, a whole breadth of music that covers the entire you know genre or that kind of that covers the entire sonic scape or whatever that's happening at the moment and i think that's generally where I've kind of been there, but again, it takes a lot of drive, it takes a lot of determination, it takes a lot of you kind of putting your blinkers on and just ignoring everything else that's going on left to the right of you. But I think, again, Sober October is a good opportunity to do that because it kind of affords you the opportunity to kind of really focus in because you don't have the distraction of going out and drinking and getting fucked up. The first big test I have is this Saturday, actually, as I'm DJing on a Heathcote and Star um, from 9 to 1. If you're around, check that out. But that's the first big step because in my head i give myself this narrative that djing sober is really hard and really difficult and people are drunk and they're all coming over you and it's just all you know a bit annoying but this narrative that i gave myself in my head is just the narrative it's a story that i'm telling myself it's not necessarily the truth so what the truth could be is that if i'm a professional if i really want to do this if i really believe in myself if i really believe that i could be a high level dj which i do think i can be if i do believe i could be a high level producer which i can be high level label owner if I could, whatever these dreams I have of owning my own bar or a nightclub, blah, 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 blah. I have to be able to operate in that way, right? I'd be able to do it in a professional manner. And if I can turn up to an, a bar or a club or whatever it may be called and do the damn thing without being intoxicated or be, without being under the influence of any sort of drugs, whatever it may be, then that is 
me coming closer to my goal and it's also an example and also a way to me to show that oh look i can do what i put my mind to i decided today i'm going to do this this way and i did it right um and yeah for everything i've done so far that's been basically my mantra you know i think i can do most things because i equate it a lot to football how kind of equated basketball you know i wasn't a gifted footballer or i didn't grow up being very good at football i had to teach myself how to play football and then i got really good at playing that game um even running i'm probably not built for running right i'm a big dude right i'm i'm broad um even when i get down to a good weight i'm still kind of a, a massive dude right to be running down the street you know trying to get six miles six minute miles and stuff but i did it i kind of made myself into a runner even though my body probably doesn't lend itself to running and i think that by and large you, you, you go from like the beginning where when i was running 10 minute miles to the end when i was running six minute miles and five minute miles that is progression that shows that if i apply that same sort of logic that same sort of work ethic that same sort of drive in other aspects of my life i could be in a better in a, in a different place but again it just requires you to kind of really focus in and and decide that this is what i'm going to do there's nothing else that matters this is what i'm going to do and again i think the whole server october thing is a good test because it's 30 days 30, it's 30 to 31 days of just pure attention pure drive pure just like you know eye on the prize just kind of driving forward and not ignoring everything else on the right and to the left of you and then suddenly you get to a point where you want to get to and you know you're succeeding where you, where you want to be so that's the hope that i'm that, that i want to achieve now going forward um so yeah uh, big up everyone on the sober october train if you're not on it just yet um, i recommend you do because you know why not man why the hell not it's sober october let's get it cracking